Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about a really easy way you can play an old 80s song called Take On Me. And it starts with a really cool intro lick, and we're going to talk about where you move this for key in a moment. But we're going to start on the high E, and we're going to play that twice. And then we're going to go first fret on the B string, and then second fret on the G string twice. And then we're going to go third fret on the B string three times. And then we're going to go second fret on the high E twice. And then third fret on the high E, and then fifth fret on the high E. And then third fret on the high E three times. And then third fret on the B string. And then open B. And then open high E three times. And then third fret on the B string twice. And then open E. And then back to third fret on the B. So all together, the notes you're playing, you're going E, E, C, A, A, D, 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 F sharp, G, A, G, 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 D, B. When we start our verse, then we're going to go to an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, just kind of the, the standard four strings, that'll give you a clear sound out of that. And that's called D major. And then from D major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the on the third fret. And third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to a C major chord. When we play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, then that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And a lot of our verse, we're just going to be doing just those chords. A minor, D major, G major, C major, A minor, D major, G major, C major. A lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just took the A minor and just tried that a lot. We'd have down, down, up. we can actually kind of work our chords to, or the, that strum pattern around our, our, our chords and one way would be doing just down down up on each of the, of the chords we'd have A minor with down down up C down down G down down C down down A minor down down D down down G down down C down down up another way would be doing the down down up and halving it between them so you'd have A minor with down down up and then a D with the up I think you can actually get the down, down, up, up, down, up to work, though. Down, down, up, up, down, D, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. You may just need to get it go a little bit faster with that. But then when we go to our chorus, uh, then we're going to go to the G major, and then we go to D major, but then we go to E minor. And this actually happens at, at the, as kind of a verse tag, too or at least this chord gets used, and it's called E minor. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And actually, that last time through the verse, we're going to end up using that. We're going to go A minor, D major, and then E minor, and then C major. It's kind of a lead-in into the chorus. And on the chorus, you got the G, D, E minor, C. So we try the chorus with the strum pattern, then we have the G down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, G down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, C 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 down, down, up, down
we get to our bridge, and on our bridge part, there's some really interesting chords uh, through the bridge where we do go to a B minor chord. And the way you normally play this as a bar chord is you do first finger across the entire second fret, and we'll talk about an easy cheat in a minute. And then we're going to take second finger and go to the B string on the third fret, third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord that sounds really, really sad. But a lot of times, instead of playing the whole bar, you can actually just play a small B minor by going high on the first fret, or, or second fret, second finger on the B string, third fret, third finger on the G string, fourth fret, and if you strum just kind of the G, B, and, and E strings, so that could, that's a little B minor. And you can actually even add in the open D string for another B minor. Or another way to do it would be high E on the first fret, or second fret with the first finger, second finger on the B on the third, third finger on the D on the fourth, and the pinky on the G string on the fourth. And if you kind of strum the top four strings with that, that's a little bit more powerful B minor. And then from the B minor chord, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And the way you play F major, first finger is going to go to the B, or, or if you know the bar F major, you do the first finger across the entire first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A on the third, and the pinky goes to the D on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an F major chord, it sounds really happy. But if you're just starting out and you don't want to do the bars, then there's a good substitute for that called F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go on the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D string on the, on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the top four strings, that's called F major 7. So you can use that as kind of a substitute for the F major. And on this part, it definitely feels like kind of a longer feel. Like a, we're going to have the B minor down, up, up, down, B minor down. to our verse and back to our chorus. One weird thing is to play along with aha, instead of starting on an A minor chord, they're actually starting on a B minor chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is if you take a capo and put it on second fret, then now your A minor is really B minor. And then your D major is really a E major. And your G major is really an A major. And your C major is really a D major. And then when we get to it, the E minor is really an F sharp minor, and the B minor is really a C sharp minor, and the F major is really a G major. And as an exercise, actually, if you know those chords, actually, you could try and substitute those in through, through the tune if you, wanted to, to, if you know all those chords. But for, since we're kind of going for ease of play, we, we could try that verse a lot of different ways. So just to try that with the down, down, up, up, down, up, we got A minor, down, up, up, down, D, down. So we got our B minor down, down, up, up, down, B minor down, down, up, up, down, F, F, down, down, up, up, down, F, F, down, down, up, up, down, B minor down, down, up, up, down, B minor down, down, up, up, down, F, F, down, down, up, up, down, F, F, down, down, up, up, down, B minor down, down, up, up, down, B minor down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we basically just be repeating those parts. 
Um, so that's the basis of how you can strum through Take On Me by AHA. So good luck!